Hello there, Inferiors. My name is Giles. You may know me for such role plays as the one you're watching currently. If you didn't know, well, now you do. There's much of me out there. Yes, yes, seems like someone wanted to monetize my look after all. Seems like there's two designs out there so far. Seems like there is me conjuring up some of my magic and my little emblem on my shirt. Remember to check them out on teespring.com. Ira, did you put it on screen? Gah, <laughs> that's a good boy. I'll talk to you guys in the video. Well, <laughs> not really. And rowing about. Why can't anything ever be close in this damn island? I swear, I'm going to find whoever invented boats and I'm going to drown him. No, you're not, Giles. Boats are really useful to you right now. What on earth is all of this? Oh, Brian's beach party. Of course. Why didn't I go to this? I usually love things Brian does that I ruin. Oh, I was dead. Oh, not the point, Giles. Brian has to be around here somewhere, and... <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, maybe I should have the wedding venue be in the garden. I could change everything, remove all these flowers, move them somewhere else. This whole lot would be open. Maybe we open this space right here. There'll be chairs right over here. Then I have to get the wedding cake. What else do I have? Uh, oh, we need a dance floor. Where's the dance floor going to be? Hmm. You might have to cut down Wait, some bushes. Huh? Oh, Giles! <laughs> hey, Bate. You're okay. Yeah, most part. <laughs> it's nice seeing you. Oh. You're here. Yes, uh, I heard uh, you've gone through some things. Uh, I just wanted to check up on you and uh, see how you're doing. I'm okay. Are you okay? I heard what happened. Mario told me what he did to you. <laughs> oh, well, that's still a chat I need to have with him. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? Well, last time I talked to him, he was at my beach party, but yes, he was not really himself. He seems to not have good control over his emotional state right now. I need to find him to see if I can help. Um, hey, I uh, heard you're getting married. Um, huh, that's surprising. Uh, yeah. Never pegged you for, well, that kind of commitment, really. Well, I'm, to be honest, neither have I. Definitely not in the past, for sure. No, you're always switching boys. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm here to congratulate you for one Congratulations, Brian. It is a rare occasion that you find someone who you feel completes you in a weird way. Uh, th thank you, Giles. I was not really expecting you to be here, to be honest. Me, me, neither. Brian, I just need to do, get something off my chest. Because I don't know, uh, you know, <laughs> exactly if I'll get to... Oh, sorry, I'm not wearing my usual outfit. I got sort of busted. Don't worry about it. New suit? Yes, I knew me. I, uh, when Mario struck me, I almost, well, I did die. And, uh, oh. luckily I portaled away and crashed near Mimiji's shrines. Uh, she healed me up, um, but uh, there's some permanent damage. <clears throat> permanent? Don't, don't uh, worry yourself with that. Hands are always been a problem ever since I was released from the lab. Right. Lab. Don't uh, trouble yourself too much. It wasn't exactly yourself. It wasn't even you. Right. So, um, I have some things to actually give you. I've... Very diff me? difficult for me. Um, this is a bag of your dreams. What? So, uh, what are my dreams. What? Are you, what, what? I got a magical. I, I got a magical item one time, and I thought it would be cool to cipher out some of your dreams to watch them for entertainment purposes. Uh, turns out your dreams are really sad. Uh, so you can have them back. Uh, you can consume that bag, open it up, put it near your mouth. All your dreams will hit you like some sort of lucid 
paradox, if you will. You stole <clears throat> my dreams? I... It was a long time ago, that one. That one was in bad taste. I am very, very sorry. This is your mother's necklace. Um... Mom's necklace, eh? Mom. I'm very sorry. I found that one night. One night I was over. And, uh... I didn't know. I thought I could treat it. But I never did. Um, this is your harp. I've been looking for this for so long. I thought I had misplaced it. Don't know what that is. Don't know where it goes. Could have locked anything in the house or anything, really. Just knew you had it, and I didn't have it, and I wanted it, so I took it. So, there you go. Hope you like that. Um, I don't know what this key is for, but it's always been in my desk. Yes, well, I don't. I don't know exactly either, but I, you know, it's like it's a magical key that could do something. I don't even know. It's probably just to a pantry. To, talking about pantries, I stole a hammer. I don't know exactly why. I just needed a hammer that day, um, and I stole a banana you off one of your trees. I don't have a banana tree. Well, that is really confusing for me because I got the banana off a tree. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Huh. So that is, yep, that I is. I guess so. I'll take it, I guess. I mean, hey, uh, potassium, you know? Right. <laughs> um, Giles, is there any reason you gave all this stuff back to me? I have uh, been made very aware that my philosophy of living is very flawed. And, um, I hurt Mario. And because I lied to him, and because I didn't tell the truth, it almost cost me my life. And honestly, it seems like every problem I've ever ran in has just be been because I'm a liar. And I don't tell everyone the full truth. What are you talking about, Giles? Mario... Ran into the seductive rose, and apparently broke his sword of tenity. He told me. And because of that, he's been split into two. I made him angry because I lied to him about who did it. I knew who did it. <laughs> and I. What are you talking about? Well, I knew who. I possibly knew who was reconstructing his sword may have not had the best intentions. I also figured out that because of that, the seductive rose was put back together. I didn't know that's what they were doing, but indirectly, that was the cause. Maybe if I had told Mario, he wouldn't have used his sword as a crutch like I kept telling him. Maybe he'd have more control over his anger and his emotions. But I can't dwell on the past. Mario's way too powerful in that form, and Xylo's powers have been deduced, and I don't even think you can beat him. Well, the thing is, I found possibly a way in order to destroy the seductive rose. Really? Impu and I went to the Library of Alexandria, Forbidden Lost Library, and there. There is a book called The Soul Crystal. Interesting. Everyone has a soul crystal, but it's very hard and dangerous, and only those that need be to, per se, come to it when it needs it, when you need it the most. It's complicated, but it's this crystal that, you know, is resonated with everyone. And I plan on using it on the seductive rose. Impu is still, you know, trying to figure out how to open the book since it's encrypted, but I think that'll be our best shot. And Dran is making me a new sword out of the pieces of Helios that were left behind after the seductive rose had killed it. I don't think you should use that sword. Why? I don't think it'd be too good for your health. What is that supposed to mean? Same person who... 
fixed eternity. It's the same person fixing your sword. I know it was Dran. Don't trust him. He hasn't done anything bad. It wasn't even his fault. Don't. He's being controlled by someone. Don't trust him. No you do understand that Dran was being controlled by someone like I was before. It's not as you think. It's in city far powerful than anyone we have ever seen. God-like. I know about the person he's who's been controlling Dran. What? Dranis, is it not? It is. I've only found out about it recently. I found out that Dran... I found out that Dran was the one forging the seductive rose after he spewed it out to me at the Aphrodite's ball. After I told him what happened to Helios, he told me. And you still trust? Dran's a good person. It doesn't matter if he's a good person. He does not know what he's doing. And indirectly, he will cause the deaths of many more people. It wasn't his fault. He was being controlled like I was being controlled. Don't sympathize with his situation, Brian. You're smarter than that. I know what he's going through. I know exactly how he feels. The person who is controlling him could look at the seductive rose blink and they would turn into pile of dust. Do you understand me? I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm not going to call him out for something that he has no control over. So you're going to sit by idly? Why? No, of course not. Of course not. And I don't want anybody to help me defeating the seductive rose. That's my own business. I'm going to be able to be... The one that defeats the seductive rose. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Wasn't. If it wasn't for Hera giving me that stupid sword. Is that where you got the sword? Interesting. Yes, Hera was the one that was messing with me and Mario last year. She was the one that ma manipulated the whole thing. I doubt the seductive rose is even under the control of Hera anymore. It's doing its own thing and it's going out of hand. They must have gotten the sword somewhere. Perhaps do you know where I could... Maybe that library? No. Maybe myself. Do you know if there's any more information on the sword? I don't know anything much. All I know is pure darkness and it needs to be destroyed once and for all. Very interesting. I think the seductive rose is... Working with a lot of the other evil beings in the camp. Well, um, Brian, you're working with someone who has someone evil controlling them. But, eh, so, um, sorry that I lied to you. I really am. I didn't mean to, and I didn't know what they were doing. Hell, if I knew they were reconstructing that awful sword... I would have never took the deal they offered me. What deal did they offer you? I'm not bound to that lamp anymore, at all. Wait. Was it... Rannis had to destroy the seductive... or the... the lamp? It, yes. No one else would help me. Zylo wouldn't do it, you wouldn't do it. The immediate one what did he want in return? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, he just wanted me to fulfill another deal I was making. Another deal? Well, yes, uh, you know Impu lost some of his power, right? Yes. Well, say that I gave Mimidia the necklace has been wearing. Yeah, that was me. Uh, but the powers will be returned as soon as the necklace so breaks. You've been, <laughs> you've been the one helping them. No, I I didn't know such thing. He broke the lamp on the seal. It was the first time I ever met the guy. Broke the lamp on the seal. 
And I completed my end of the bargain that I was going to make with Mumiji anyway. She wanted the necklace. She was going to do it for me when she took your power. When she did that little fortune teller thing for you. Right. But I willingly give her my power. But yes. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> I mean, she predicted that the rose was coming back. She was right. Well, that's what fortune teller means. It's like a prediction. Besides, it was vague. It wasn't really. 100%. Something more going on, and I just can't figure it out. Really? There's a piece of the puzzle that I just don't understand. Well, I'm sure in time it'll come together. I've already told Mamiji about the necklace, and she already knew what it would do. She wore it willingly, and been doing it not willingly, unfortunately. I told Zylo about it, and you know, Zylo's reaction was better than Pa. So, um... <clears throat> Yes, people already know. Ah, uh, so... <clears throat> yes, ha, ha, ha. Yes, ha. Uh, sorry. I... Okay, it's... I may have We're... also made another deal. What? What do you mean, what, another deal? For what? I don't know yet. I, I don't exactly know what I want. But uh, my, I, it was a bet, really, uh, and it was on my life. <laughs> uh, I said, you said your life? Are you stupid, Giles? I am alive, aren't I? And if you weren't? I'd be dead. You'd be in the underworld. Yeah, well, uh, wouldn't be the first, <laughs> nor the last. Uh, just um, keep it in mind that... Uh, I think I'm going to look into the whole seductive rose thing. I don't. No, child, that's not your concern. Listen, eventually they're going to come back to try to get me. I'm the one who turned them down when they wanted to rule the whole camp and kill everyone off. They think that I'm going to try to hurt them no matter what. They may even think that's the deal I made with this person, Dranis. So, it's honestly probably in my best interest to try at to at least survive. Because I don't really know if I'm going to die next. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully I won't. Anyway, congratulations on the wedding. I'm very sorry that I put this on you. I hope to show up to it um, if I'm invited, of course. I am... Um... I don't know yet. Hey, it's fine. I mean... You know, Zylo, um, long time back, I asked him if he would have freed me from the lamp, and why didn't he? Because he knew I was in that lamp, Brian, so did most of the camp. Greek side, anyway. Uh, but he, when I asked him earlier today if he would help me now, he said he would. I believe people can change. I believe you've changed. And I believe sometimes it's for the better. <laughs> Giles? Giles, are you okay? It's fine. Just my heart. Giles, what's going on? Your, what do you mean your heart? I've been here. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's no. That's not going to help. It's inward. I do what thank you, you, though. That'll help the corruption. Corruption? Giles, what did you do? My. Um, Mario sh struck me with lightning. More than once, and my heart stops. I can't control it, and it makes my focus unpredictable. So I haven't been flying or portaling around. I'm afraid if I do, I'll end up killing myself. <laughs> and the corruption keeps seeping up my arm a little by little because I can't concentrate. And uh, I don't know exactly what it'll do if it takes control of me. The seductive rose had a purpose for that lamp. It's stuck with me this long because no one took me out. But I've always been able to keep control of it. No, oh, don't. You gonna be okay? No one's going to be okay, about it. I'm doing what I can. I'm still alive and uh, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Got to go, though. I have to go find Mario to try to help him. Sure, that's the best idea. Is fighting the seductive rose by yourself the best idea? 
It's my I don't want anybody else to get hurt. So yes. That's what I told people when I tried to come help you when you were the seductive rose. Surprisingly, I could have used the help then. Surprisingly, when I was teaching Mario and the whole three day thing, I had Xylo help me and Momiji. I didn't tell you um, because I didn't think you'd want to help at the time. It was right after the uh, argument we had. Right. <clears throat> Again, you have this body. Don't do everything by yourself. I'm not. And I'm a very smart guy. I would say I'm a little bit up there. <laughs> Ow. Oh, sorry. Have a good one, buddy. Remember to send me an invite. I live in your old house in the camp. Stole okay. that! Alright, I think that was everything I need to do. Did I get worried him? about him? Does he want the elephant back? <laughs> 